Morning everyone, it's uh, Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. We're on the 7th of January. It's cold, it's a bit drizzly. So actually, perfect time of year to uh, think about cutting your apple trees back or pruning them. Uh, you, if, if you read the books um, and listen to the experts for the UK, then you're looking at doing your apple tree pruning between November and March. Personally, um, I tend to go for December, January, because then you can be sure that your trees are totally dormant and you're not going to be coming across any instances where, you know, come March, say we might have a, a mild February, March, and the, the trees will start sprouting already, um, coming into bud, and you don't want to be pruning then. So, like I say, we're into first week of January, perfect time to prune and uh, this is a little lot I'm doing so let me turn the camera around and uh, talk you through it. So just uh, put into context this is the allotments that um, I'm based at and um, these aren't uh, community orchards but these actually belong to the new owners of the site and uh, as they haven't got much experience in uh, pruning I said I'd give them a hand although it does appear that it's now me doing it. Uh, there is a mixture of fruit trees amongst here, so um, I'll be able to do some different videos on pruning cherries and there's some mulberry and medlar, but for the time being we're concentrating on apples. So, I mean, look at these poor specimens. So these two are the ones I'll be tackling today. And like I say, January, perfect time to do it. And what are we looking for to start with? Well, we always start with the three Ds. So pruning out any dead, diseased or damaged. So that's the obvious things to go for. Um, obviously you can see that these have been badly maintained by the fact that they've been having to be propped up at random angles. And uh, hopefully we can uh, rectify this. So what's this one? still got a label on it actually says original bramley so that's a cooking apple but uh yeah we'll, we'll prune out your your three d's to start with and then we're looking to remove any sort of crossing stems oh there's another section of dead there and obvious poor pruning work as well so we've got a few things we can to work to and nice and clean sharp pair of secateurs and like with a lot of prunings you want to make sure that you're pruning to outward facing buds so by that i mean a bud that is facing away from the center so that way when the bud shoots it's going to be coming outwards and not causing further congestion into the middle so ordinarily i'd i'd show you pruning to here to remove this damaged section but ultimately, I mean, we'll be going further back because look, even more damage there. So, you know, it, this tree's gonna need quite a bit of surgery. But um, anyway, starting to ramble. The other thing to bear in mind is you don't want to really remove more than a third of the tree. So on this, it's not particularly tall, so we can concentrate on removing the, the center crown and some of the internal growth when you get to something like that uh, you can concentrate if you want because it's hard to reach through at the top concentrate by removing the the top section which will essentially be counting as your third and then if you've got uh, I suppose excess or available prunings left then you can then thin out more down the center the thing to remember is if you go wrong it's not the end of the world because the tree will recover and certainly on a mature tree like this they will rejuvenate and you'll be able to do it again come next year now i don't know everyone prunes slightly different um just thought i'd let you into how i prune i tend to start at a point um, wherever I kind of think that it's in most need and I just tend to work my way round 
in a direction um, just you know whether that's clockwise anti-clockwise and it just seems to allow me to then look at the tree um, in a slightly more logical coherent manner so that you're actually getting a shape to the tree or creating the shape to a tree rather than a bit of a scattergun approach where I'm tackling all the um, well all the dead bits that might be at the top and then at the bottom and that sort of thing so I just tend to work my way around around the the perimeter of the tree tackling the dead diseased damaged stems and then once they're removed I then go back around and start looking to then remove unwanted growth so just thought I'd let you into I suppose my method right okay so we've removed the uh, dead diseased damaged sections I've also removed the stake at the same time so it looks better already but uh, now is I suppose the the bit that changes everything where you then start removing any of the crossing stems and removing your overall width or height of the tree and so really you know we're trying to balance the tree up again and to make it more productive as I say this bit of a rejuvenating process but we should um, should be able to prune it well well enough this year that we're actually through it which would be nice so um, yeah let's carry on right okay so that's actually the tree finished it's not looking too bad just cleared the uh, long grass away from the base as well and in actual fact didn't have to remove that much for it to look so much better and just be mindful of the fact that you can only do so much each season so by making a, a good start this year obviously we've improved the the shape hopefully we'll improve the health and you know you can build up a bit of a an idea or plan for pruning for subsequent years you know i think um next year then it'd be something like this limb that would be sorted out and tackled and you'd come back to here but you don't want to do too much too quickly because it will put the tree under stress and then you definitely won't get any fruit and uh good chance that the tree will actually uh, regress and perform worse than it has been so yeah that's the first tree done on the rejuvenating this orchard right so again when we're looking at rejuvenating uh, pruning yes this does look quite daunting it is a considerably bigger tree than that one that we've just done but again it's it's nothing different to what you've just done start exactly the same way remove your dead diseased or damaged stems then remove your crossing branches and work out where you want to remove that third of growth from so thanks for watching the video i hope you found it useful uh, as always if you've got questions then please send them over to me i'll do my best to answer them for you uh, if you like what i'm doing and continue to do then please subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the reminder button so don't miss out on all the future videos that i'm doing and yes we are january but uh, plenty of jobs to get on with still plenty of jobs to think about as well so uh, enjoy your garden and uh, i'll see you soon bye for now